think it's going to count us down. On my end, it's, I'm looking at it, it says in three, it's counting down from three minutes. Oh, okay. We got three minutes and 30 seconds. So you, you've been enjoying yourself in Kansas? I have. That's cool. Okay, so I guess we're live. So let me go off of this. All right, we'll find somebody to give us a sound check. We got to get a sound check from somebody in the audience. Can we get a sound check, y'all? <laughs> Can y'all hear us? Is there any echo, any feedback? Okay, so I guess we're live. So I hear me on your, is that me on your thing? Yeah, we're in there. Huh? I hear myself echoing. Yeah, I, that's probably because I had mine turned up. Oh. Samantha, Janice, Lara, Latissa. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, good, everyone. No sound issues. <laughs> yes, all good. Can hear you. Can hear you. <laughs> Welcome. So I have the bow tie back with me tonight. I'm actually in a... I'm in a foreign place still. <laughs> a foreign this, land. Yeah, I'm in this lovely hotel room that I could not connect to the Wi-Fi in, but that's a whole nother story. We made it. <laughs> we made it. We're live. We're live. So what's been going on with you? How you been? Man, I'm doing great. I had a... Uh, so, uh, busy week we have uh, you can see you can see I'm in my back in my uh my element in my location where I like to uh do videos yeah and we had uh painters come in this week so uh you can see the walls behind me um, I love it yeah we got uh got the whole house painted so um it's been one of those kinds of weeks so it's like when you get the house painted you know you don't think about the fact that it's going to be like you're totally moving in again because everything has to be moved and then you have to put everything back. Yeah. So, um, it's been a busy week. So that's been, that's been taking up the majority of my week. <laughs> so is it brown or is it orange? It's like a, it's like a burnt orange, like a terracotta, oh, I think is the color. Yeah. Well, actually it's called, it's a different, it's called, uh, it's Sherwin Williams. And I can't remember the name of it, but it's like a Oh, burnt you bought orange. the, you bought the fancy paint. Hey man, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we do do it you right. Didn't go to Home Depot. You went to Sherwin Williams. <laughs> well, I went to Lowe's had Sherwin Williams paint. <laughs> but you yeah, know, they what, do. you know what's funny? I think that uh, if I ever do paint again, get that get something painted again, I'm going to have to go directly to Sherwin Williams because I don't think the no uh, offense to anybody that may work at Lowe's in the paint department. But I don't uh -oh. think that they are as knowledgeable about mixing uh, paint to get the right, you know, coloration because there's several colors that I chose that wasn't quite what I thought it should be. And that could be lighting and once things hit the wall and stuff like that, but. Yeah, you know, definitely like lighting. Colors. Yeah, two colors we chose that. Oh, I forgot, I'm talking to an expert. So, yeah, um, you, know, you know, everything's a learning experience. I think next time. Oh, yeah a painting project number one i'm going to make sure that i get a sample put it on the wall first to make sure it's the hue and color that i that we uh, are expecting. yeah you know but what I'll, you have to do huh you have to get one of those plastic things because they they come like five in a pack and they're mm -hmm. like clear sheets and you stick them on the wall mm -hmm. and you paint one and do it in the morning see mm -hmm. it in the morning, come back, see it in the afternoon, and right. then see it at night, see it with the lights off, see it with all the lights on. Right. Yeah. So you know exactly Definitely. what it's going to look like in the right. day. Yeah. Well, we learned, but the house looks good, though. It looks yeah, like it's always like getting a new house <laughs> when you just do small stuff like that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now I just need a loan from you to get, uh, we can get some new furniture. We, Alone. <laughs> we changed like the color scheme in the whole house so it's like 50% of the furniture doesn't match anymore 
Oh yeah, go neutral yeah. next time though. I like yeah. to go neutral on the furniture because that way you can change up uh, throw pillows and throws and all that yeah. type of stuff, you know? True. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So there's a lot going on in the world right now, right? It is. You lot. get your stimulus check? I haven't got no stimulus check yet. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that. We don't get stimulus checks in here. I know. I'm like, I'm not a stimulus <laughs> check. <laughs> we don't get. We just let's say we don't get stimulus checks in here. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't get to share in that excitement of uh, getting those stimulus checks. So. Right. We don't. Um. So. We have some good topics to talk about tonight, right? Look, before we get to the really good stuff, you know, we got to start with fragrance, right? So, oh, I almost forgot about fragrance because, you know, I don't have anything behind me. So it's like... <laughs> it's, all, it's all good. I'm going to keep you on point. Um, I, I need that. <laughs> what, what have you got in like the past? So we did... I wasn't on last week. So what have you got in the last two weeks? Anything? Nothing. Now, really? at, at my house right now, I have... um. Savoir Fair waiting for me. Oh, I need to try that. I heard some good yeah. things about it. I have a it's waiting for me. Um, the new gray, like speckle, metally looking bottle. I can't think of the name of it. Um, Twisted Lily scent. What? What? Uh, you? I'm sorry, you were breaking up. But I haven't. Oh, Apollonia. Apollonia. What? What's the? Uh, what mm -hmm. do you call out before that? Because you were kind of breaking up. Uh, breaking up. I couldn't hear it. No, that's the one I was saying. The um, Zerjoff fragrance is from. It's Apollonia. Oh, okay. Yeah. I never smelled that one. I haven't either. It's new. Um. Yeah. Hey, somebody so. said the stimulus came at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> So his name Butler. You Butler, send me some uh, uh, a couple of dollars from yours, man, because I didn't get one. <laughs> We're gonna Stephen pass Gaddy the... said he got his yesterday. Oh, really? <laughs> I did. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Well, he says a blessing if you don't qualify. Yeah, I, I guess you know yeah. it, it is two and that's it's what they say. Yeah. But yeah. I want fourteen hundred or twenty eight hundred dollars. <laughs> I need it, man. <laughs> I need it. I could use that to front. We can put some new furniture in here right now. Right. Um, so what'd you buy? You buy anything lately? Man, I'm always buying fragrances. I don't think there's a week. I probably get about five fragrances a week. <laughs> yeah, you be falling out. I'll be checking. I'm watching. <laughs> oh man, I picked up oh since our last uh live. I got tuxedo um from YSL. Mm-hmm. I uh, got Tuxedo in, um, the new Dolce & Gabbana, uh, Luminous Nights uh, from the the one, the the one collection. You know, oh, you yeah, heard yeah. about that one? The new one? The bottle was beautiful. Smells good. Um, I got that in. I got the new one from Carlos and Steven. You know, they came out with oh, Red Brook. How is it? It's good. It's like, uh, I'm going to do a... Uh, Kind of a initial impressions on it, but it's. Are really you gonna do an of... honest review on it? Oh yeah, I, no. I, I, I I know no other way, but it's a mixture to me. Just to really simplify it, it's a mixture of Wall Street from Bond Number Nine. I know and, Wall Street. And uh, Black Orchid, Tom Ford. Interesting, yeah. It, yeah. I, I just get those different those elements at different points in the. Yeah. The, um, development of the fragrance. When you first spray it, I got, it reminds me of Wall Street. But mm -hmm. as it starts to dry down, you start to pick up on some of those, uh, you know, floral uh, nuances that you get from Black Orchid. It's right. interesting. It smells good, though. I mean, I had it on since, you know, earlier today. It, it, I'm still, it was going strong. Um, it sold out, right? right? Yeah. I think he did a thousand, 1,000 bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, when they sent, as a matter of fact, let me grab it. When he uh, sent it, when they send it, it comes with a card, and it tells you what number. Oh, that's cool. That you purchased. 
And I think mine was number, let me see. So I was number 593. Oh, wow. Yeah, so okay. it comes with a card. Bottle looks like this. Nice, nice. Yeah, but it's nice, man. You know, I, I wanted to, to be a part of that. You know, I, I said, uh, when I did a video about that, I told everybody I wasn't, you know, Stephen and I kind of commun communicate uh, mm -hmm. a message here and there. Never really was, uh, really uh, had much interaction with Carlos. Right. But I did value what he brought to the community. I mean, like oh, when I first came yeah, in, absolutely. he was like, it was, he was like one of the main guys. And so uh, I wanted to make sure I supported that, you know, sad right. situation. Uh, so I jumped on it when it when he posted it because I knew a thousand bottles were gonna sell out, and I think it may have been, yeah, I think it may have been only going on like two days, um, and it was sold out. So I jumped on it. Yeah. Well, I ho hopefully they'll redo it, or you know, I'll have the opportunity to try it or buy it. One I'm of sure the two. You know, we can do some samples. We still got to We still owe one another some samples. So yeah. Many samples. <laughs> and, and listen, and I smelled uh, uh, mom look. So I'm glad we didn't do that sample because I don't really like it. <laughs> I told you, yeah. Yeah, that thing I, is polarizing. Very. And I found something to do with it. What is it? I think I layer it with like Keith. Um, Keith is me, LA. Oh, it makes it nice. nice. But I just, I'm, I, don't, I don't really care for mom look at yeah, all. Yeah. <laughs> It's you not, gotta have a certain kind of taste to like that one. You really do. Yeah, yeah not it's bad. It's not a bad fragrance. It's nice, yeah. but it's just not my thing. At yeah, all. I purchased some stuff from Lucky Scent, and um, mm -hmm. I got a uh, a sample. Uh, that was one of the samples that I chose because I wanted to kind of get an idea of what it smelled like, and I was like, uh. yeah. I mean, like you said, it's not horrible, but I wouldn't invest a full bottle into that because right. I would never get through it. So the ladies in the audience, mm -hmm. in the world, in the entire world, this week would like to know, do all men cheat? Let's just get right down to business. <laughs> <laughs> do all men cheat? Well, that, I think that is, it depends on where you... Uh, what direction uh, or angle you come from with that question? No, there is no direction or no angle. There's <laughs> well, well, here's why I say that because there's a, I guess there's a difference between, you know, if somebody has done it at one point in time in their life and if they're currently doing it, you know what I mean? But I think that there's not many people that will probably fall outside of those lines that they've never cheated before. So, I mean, I guess you, we need to change that to people. Where my fellows at in the audience? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get much help here tonight. <laughs> well, hold on. Where my guys at? Where, I saw some guys out there. Okay. Butler. Butler, you. I think Butler. Is yeah, Butler a guy? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. And I don't think you're going to get much help um, tonight. <laughs> Not at all. Um, what, do what do you think? Most. I say most. Mm. Yeah. I say most men cheat. I think that there, there's a class of men that are less likely to cheat. You want to talk about that? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, we're, we're open. <laughs> you know who I think the guys are that are less likely to cheat? Who's that? The guys that most women don't want, you know? Mm. <laughs> Bobby. 40 Bonnie, G's a year. Bonnie, Robbie, Bonnie, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> 40 G's a year. Okay. Honda Civic. 5-3. <laughs> Is he chubby too? Chubby. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> you saying a guy with not a lot of options. Not extremely attractive. Not, not really pleasing to the eyes. Bobby's probably going to be loyal, right? Man, Most of the time. I, you know what? I think, uh, listen, that's one of those things, I guess, you know, 
that still to me wouldn't exempt him from being in that class of people. It wouldn't exempt him, but he's less likely to cheat. I could go because with that. he doesn't have options. Like, think about it. Who who all is he really cheating with? Now, I know some guys that you would look at and you would think. Now, how is he out here running women, you know, but there's definitely something about him. Like mm-hmm. what I say the other week, he can do it real good. <laughs> <laughs> or there's something about him, but average guys, you know, oftentimes, you know, the average guys, like extremely average guys are, are right. sometimes loyal, but the guys that many women are chasing after the guys that many women like the guys that have that thing they're wealthy they're successful they're attractive they don't even have to be attractive because you know like i know the high value the high value men yeah basically those guys cheat you know most of the time right the high value look look uh, uh kevin said the other night he said he said that if a guy is high value, meaning he makes six figures, then his main lady should be okay with the fact and understand that there's going to be multiple women. On six figures? Mm-hmm. That ain't no money. <laughs> he better be making 12 figures thinking he's going to be dragging other broads up in here. <laughs> Come on now. That that's what he said. Um, that that's what he said. He said uh, those high value guys, they the, the the main woman should understand that there is going to be uh, someone other than her. Yeah, sometimes I mean I don't know about just a just that you know, it depends on how six figure ish we're talking, right? Uh-huh. But. Sometimes, you know, with with men, high profile men, I would say that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the woman needs to be okay with it. I mean, boundaries and rules have to be established in the relationship, right? Because right. there are probably only three women in this world who are going to be okay with knowing that their man is running around in the streets, right? Well, I, I really think that that is... Um... Okay, we, have, we would have to kind of break that down. Um, and what I mean by that is we would have to break that down from the standpoint of, you know, again, what level are we talking? Okay, right? we, one thing I want to clear up as well, because this is something that I hear a lot, like just because a man makes six figures, that does not make him high value, right? In, in my opinion. So I guess, again, we, we talk about what's relative or what's the, the definition of that. You know, yeah, there's people. so many, so many other things that go into play there. Cause I say all the time, there's some dope dealers out here selling people poison, you know, right. making six figures. These are right. definitely not high value men. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, they're making money, but that don't make them, that doesn't make them high value. So I agree with that point. Um, but the, the, but the premise is, you know, we're talking about, I'm talking about uh, guys that are doing things the legal way that have built something over the course of time um, and right, they are right. successful. The the idea is that be when they have more options. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's that that's the idea behind it. But we have, but yeah, the guys that you're referring to, that, you know, they don't have as many options. But you know. It, you know, when you talk about subjects like this, it's always tricky because, you know, nothing in life is 100 percent. You know, so you're always going to have people that want to come in and argue the one, two or three percent. You know what I mean? Because there's people that are saying that that in the comment sections have said, well, you know, uh, the same guy that you described, that doesn't mean he wants he doesn't he won't or doesn't cheat. And that's true. I'm sure there are guys that fall that meet all the criteria that you mentioned that has. That yeah, that, that have but it, but know. again, it, like you said, it's less likely just because oftentimes it's more probable than not that they're not going to have as many options. Right. right. Yeah. But most of the time, high profile men—I won't necessarily say 
high value men. I'll say, you know, men that are out there, the thing with men that are out there is they have to be, they really have to be grounded, I, so to speak, I guess. I mean, I don't know. They have to, they have to be 100% committed, you know, um, there are a lot of things that, that come into play there because like you said, they, it, it could come a dime a dozen to them, right? It could come mm-hmm. so easy for them. And so most of the time they will, you know, right. they'll fall for it. I just so, think you have to be, uh, a, a guy just has to be, um, because when we're talking about cheating, of course, obviously they have someone at home. Well, yeah, you know? if they're cheating. Right. Otherwise, so they ain't cheating. They, they just, just being free. <laughs> right. <laughs> they just living their best life, right? Right. So I just think that you have to value what you have, you know? Um, you have to value what you do have at home. And, and, and okay, I'm not so, saying everybody, everybody's not capable of doing that, but I just think that's really... I mean, if you're going to, you know, stay on the straight and narrow, that's what you have to really consider. Do you think that if a man cheats, that means that he does not value what he has at home? Not, not in all scenarios. Not, not necessarily. Um, As a man, mm-hmm. give us some reasons. Because for the ladies, you know, okay. why men cheat. Three reasons. Number one, because he's a man. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, reasons. Ah, man. Um, I, okay, I guess one would maybe that he's not, maybe he's not satisfied sexually at home. That could be a reason. Okay. Right. Um, whether that be the frequency or just the, the quality. Right. That's oh, right, you paused. Right. You pause on like this. Okay, you back. I got you back. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So it, it could be that that could be a reason. Um, what else could I say is a reason that I? Mm, the, the the what we've been discussing already. I think. Uh, some guys are high value to however you describe, however you want to categorize that or define that. Um, whether it be a guy that has a lot of money, a very attractive guy, or whatever the case may be, high value guys have a lot of options. That could be a reason. Right. Um, right. Or I don't know. Some guys just do it, I guess, just sometimes just because they can. Um, some I think guys sometimes, are serial I, cheaters, right? Right. I think sometimes guys haven't. You find, let me tell you when it happens a lot of times, what you find. The number one guy that women have to watch out for is the guy that from the stint, from the, the adolescent times, I'm talking about starting. Because we really start getting real relationships, I guess, to some extent, middle school, high school. So when you start getting to that that age group, mm-hmm. you find guys that have not really had, uh, as I, well, I would use the word success with women, right? And when they become older, because they are successful in different things, successful, uh, financially well off, these type things, I think that these are the type guys that really fall into it because they're not accustomed to it. Does that make sense? It does, yeah. It, I mean, it look, does. like they said, they're coming to America. If you like Simeon, you had a chance to sow your royal oats. <laughs> and you don't, you don't get excited as excited about attention from a woman and stuff like that. But think about it. If, you, yeah. if you're not accustomed to that, if because whatever reason you were an ugly duckling in high school or uh, unpopular, mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, and you never had a chance to experience multiple women, that's a recipe yeah. for disaster. I think I wonder why most men 
just cannot come out and say it's what most men do it's our it's it's how we function it's what we do we like variety right we like variety we get bored easily we we can because we can we cheat because we can why why don't men ever come out and say that right just come out and say we do it because we can at the end of the day i think that's the equivalent of uh of somebody that doesn't like evil because she's dressed nice or uh she got a lot of fragrances in her collection but instead of saying that, instead of, being, instead of saying, hey, Eva, I don't like you because you dress really nice and you got a lot of nice fragrances. I think that you stealing. Instead of them saying that, they will come on and say, well, well, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they'll, they'll say, well, I don't like her. Well, you say, well, why? And they don't really have an answer because they don't want to be truthful about the real reason why they don't like you. Because well, that's what's it, wrong you know, with the world. We don't people don't hey. want to be truthful. Well, women hey. should know that at some point in time in your life, you there may come a moment in your marriage, your relationship, your situationship, whatever it is you're doing, that you may have to deal with the fact that your other is stepping out with another woman. There may not be a reason for it. She may be uglier than you, she may be prettier than you. She may, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He may love you he may be happy at home he may have no intentions on going anywhere but he just saw her his man instincts kicked in he could have her and he did right it happens most of the time yeah it happens men should just come out and just say that (laughs) women and because it's up to us to decide how we're going to deal with it right and if we're going to do with being cheated on um, which we talked about um, um, when you were in the comment section on the live last, last week. week. Yeah. And we were talking about how when, when women cheat, men can't get over it. Um, when men cheat, you know, they they expect us to get over it, right? Yeah, hey, y'all were big lit last week. In the- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got, y'all were lit last week in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's a thing that happens and and we have to decide how we're going to deal with it if we're just going to be like you said your friend over there said um if we just don't roll with it you know or right. if we gonna put his clothes out in trash bags on the front lawn or do right. like on waiting to exhale and put it all in the bins and burn it up we have that <laughs> decision to make but at the end of the day it can happen that I last week that's why I talked about um when you're in a relationship with somebody it's very important to know how they view the act of sex right 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 yeah yeah because for some people is it's simply an act it's just it's like I didn't that ain't nothing to that we did that you know I saw her, her booty was big I wanted to touch it you know but that's, and I did yeah <laughs> you have to know that about people like yeah, yeah there's you better, to that. You better. Exactly. <laughs> yeah and you have to know how people if they have some type of um you know addiction or problem where you know like i said they're serial cheaters and that's gonna be who they are for the rest of their life then we we have to decide how we're gonna deal with that but i feel like for the most part most men will at some point in time this it's not new this has been like men have had multiple women and and for since the beginning of time right yeah it's nothing yeah. new don't be so quiet over there uh-uh i listen i'm ready to pounce roller skates so i'm um, ready to pounce on the women listen i was just <laughs> getting ready to confess the fact that i used to be a serial t- well wait wait a minute back up absolutely and you know <laughs> no, wait a minute back up you were breaking up back up <laughs> what'd you say now i said i was going to confess the fact that i was a serial cheater you know why i was a serial cheater why 
the same reason that most men are serial cheaters because guys liked me, okay. right? And gotcha. I could choose them. I could be with, you know, if I saw them and I liked them, I could be with them. You know, if, if, if I did whatever the hell I wanted to do, you know? Right. It was just, it was who I was. I was searching. Later on in life, I realized that I had a situation at one point in time that I continued to search for over and over again after that situation was gone. But I would cheat on guys all the time. Like it was nothing. Like, mm -hmm. and if there's anybody watching this that I used to date, hey, I'm sorry, I'm a new woman. <laughs> let, me, let, me look, let me look at the comment section, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it because I could, you know, right. guys liked me. And so it was like, okay, I don't just have to have just one of you now, you know, and that's the same thing that men do. That's the same, it's the same reason men do it. Um, well, let me tell you what's scary though. Why is it scary? Yeah. Well, let me tell you what's scary. Hear me out, right? Absolutely. Now, things have uh, changed somewhat over the past 10 years or so. Uh, I think women are a little bit more forthcoming and aggressive as it relates to stuff like that than they used to be. Um, yeah. But here, here's what's scary. Here's, here's why women are more scarier in regards to this than men are. Because you can have a guy, right? And I always like to use the 100, the 100 points, right? You can have a guy, or 100 people. You can have a guy, mm -hmm. and you can line up 100 women. And this is probably, I would say, for the far most, most women will look at this guy and say, oh, you know, he's attractive, at least, right? But out of the 100 women, you would have a very small percentage of those women that would just without much conversation, anything, say, okay, I want to have sex with this guy. But you could take a woman that 95 out of 100 guys will say she's attractive. And if she says it's a go, it's a go. So women are a little bit more scary in regards to that when they are an attractive woman because the onus is on them. You see what I'm saying? Because what I'm saying is more guys are going, would approach the woman versus there's not going to be many women that that will see a guy and going to approach this guy. So you don't really have the guys don't have to be as guarded because you could probably walk past 100 women a day and 95 of them might think you're attractive, but they're not going to say anything for the most part. Whereas you take that a, a woman that's attractive. Those 95 yeah. she's probably gonna get hollered at probably about 75% of the time. How often can she be on point to refuse if she's in a situation? So do you get my point? No. <laughs> is it, so you think it's different when women are cheaters and then when I think that they have more of an opportunity. Oh yeah, absolutely. And we move better. You know, y'all move sloppy and stupid sometimes. And so like y'all, you know, uh, do stuff like send me a naked picture and then you get the naked picture and the naked picture is in your phone. And then suddenly the naked pictures on uh, world star hip hop, you know, and you know, stupid, y'all move stupid and sloppy. When I was doing stuff like that and people would say, guys would say, Send me a picture. I'd be like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> You'll never trap me. And I ain't nobody. You know what I'm saying? My name, I ain't popular. I ain't famous, you know, but no. Eva, you no, are funny. I don't send pictures out. I'm serious, though. You know, men move different and they get reckless and careless. Like, you know, how do you, that, that's, this is my thing. How are you a married man and you are sending actual video <laughs> actual video of yourself saying hey what kind of panties you got on today you are a plum fool and you need to be caught okay, right retarded retarded yeah yeah you're retarded. stupid <laughs> and you're going down eventually with your stupid mess you know well th look this is a perfect segue into the topic of the week <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely, because that's that's what happened. Um, 
I did. I don't know if you saw my video where I talked about how everybody was talking about his wife, you know. No. Um, let, yeah. let, go ahead and introduce this topic, Eva. Introduce it. <laughs> for, well, for the serial may not know. The serial cheater of the week is <laughs> Mr. Derek Jackson. Everybody Derek Jackson. Is Sound off in the cold. comments. <laughs> yeah, I don't why do people get so why are people so taken aback? Like when when famous people or people that are well known, when it's found out that they're they're doing something that the average everyday Joe Blow does, like I feel like we just hold people to to this high standard that most human beings can't even live up to. You know. Well, can we give? Can I can I pose a question? Can I pose a question? Where really please, quickly? please. So, to everyone in the that is watching, um, I would love to for you guys to dialogue and tell us your thoughts about uh, the situation concerning Derek Jackson, uh, who is a um, very well known um, uh, social media <laughs> personality, uh, YouTube. Instagram and the whole nine. I was introduced to him. Of course, my wife showed me. I was she was watching a video one day. I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> so he was like really well known for uh I guess what well, how would you describe Derek Jackson? Eva? Well, how would you describe Derek Jackson? You know what's funny is I see some funny comments here. I'm gonna address them in, in just a second, okay. y'all. Um <laughs> I didn't I never paid much attention to him. That's the funny thing about it. Oh, like, really? I, no, I never, like, I just, would like, in scrolling, mm -hmm. and I would see him, like, leaning on that armrest, like, check this out, ladies. Let me tell you this. If a man walks up to you, and I'll be like, oh, no, <laughs> not today, player. <laughs> I'll just keep right on scrolling, right? I never hey. paid attention to him like that. Um, I didn't know that he was, like, the the gospel for you know for women who wanted to know what men were up to because in my video I talked about that I said I knew a guy who used to tell me like I used to think he was spitting mad game to me about men because he genuinely cared about mm -hmm. me knowing how men moved and he wanted right. me to be able to you know dodge what was going on but he was always just telling me about who he was you know, and, he, <laughs> and that's, that's what I feel like this gentleman was doing. Wow, like, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, absolutely. That's so, interesting. Yeah. Um, men are never going to give us the game. And I, I feel like that's what women look for from a lot of these guys. Mm -hmm. Like if you sat here and, and gave all the women in the audience the game, it wouldn't be very manly like of you, would it? It wouldn't be very man like. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I get what you're saying uh, to an extent. There's like you know, there's this, there's, there's female code, there's man code, right, um, on certain things. Um. So yeah, I, I mean, I totally understand that point, you know. But I do agree with you, um, coming from that particular standpoint. You know, when, when you said that, you know, he was kind of just giving a uh, a rundown, if you will, of who he was. Right. You know? uh, he was yeah. Cause that's kind of stuff. It's not like he went and read a book about that kind of stuff. That that stuff <laughs> came from somewhere, right? He didn't pull like, it out of thin air. He was he was telling us some things. So I saw a funny a, a very <laughs> Stephen Gaddy. Stephen Gaddy said. That's not true, Eva. I wasn't a sloppy guy. It's, this is funny because I know Steven. <laughs> oh, you do? <laughs> hey, Steven. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, somebody. And then Jay Shine Random said, me neither, Steve. Never got caught. <laughs> Tiffany, I saw Eva speaking truth. I saw a man on a dating app wearing his wedding ring. That's yeah, crazy. see? Uh, the next week, his wife found out and made it known on his profile. <laughs> Telling you. But Butler said uh, Derek is, well, he said uh, Jackson is a narcissist. 
That dude with several mistresses right. and a baby on the way, allegedly. I'm now, playing for his wife, and he is nasty. <laughs> he is nasty. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Now, someone I saw a comment on here about um his wife's appearance, which was what oh um Goddess Tay said, ain't no way in hell I'd be on camera looking crazy though. So what's your take on that? I want to hear that. What's your take? What, what's your take on how she came? Uh, dressed for the lie. Like, what do you feel about that? Okay. I, I have two different, you know, first and foremost, I'm going to say this. Like, if I'm coming on camera to address my husband's indiscretions, I'm coming like Naomi Camel, Tyra Banks, <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like, fun. That's what Ashley said. Huh? That's what Ashley said. <laughs> yeah. She said she's like, going to be I'm like, bank. she's coming at her, the top of her game. Listen, I'm, I'm going to bring my A game. But at yeah. the end of the day, like I said yesterday, it's irrelevant. This woman has been embarrassed. She's been humiliated, yeah. publicly humiliated. Let's never mind that. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing when somebody cheats on you. And the neighbors know because they saw Keisha leaving your house, right? Right. Can you imagine how embarrassing it is when the world is watching this? And I don't feel like she's well. And that, that but that's just my opinion. I could be right. wrong about that. She just doesn't appear to be well to me. Right. You know? So I, I agree. I, I agree. Yeah. I, I don't know what, what's going on there. Um yeah. I ain't here no. for the dragon though. I'm here to tell you, like, I was reading some of them comments where people were saying things, and I just I really wanted to say something, but you know, you never want to put your name in that type of, you know, comment section drawn, right. right? But I just felt like, so what? You know, stop being you looking at the wrong thing right now. You really right. are. You know, how about hey, sister? We here, you know, right. we, what you need. You need us to pull that's, up because he that's not that's not the world we sure. live in today. <laughs> it's, 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 no, it's not it's the not. world we live and in people, today. Right. People are this more is so interesting to some people though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I have seen bloggers doing like four hour lives on this, and I'm like, people, is it that serious? It's not that serious to me. It's like you know I, what? Maybe I'm missing something. Well, it's two things, Eva. One number one, you know, you know the uh, the uh, how social media works. Um, most people could really. I think sometimes most people kind of sometimes they even go against you know their what they really feel you know innately in their hearts if it's gonna get them some views and attention. So I think right. that's one segment, and then you just got uh, you know a whole another segment of people that. You know, we just live in a different type of society nowadays, where it's, it's yeah. easier to kind of pile on uh, than to lift up, and uh, that's just a, a you know kind of a reality of where we are. Right, right. It's just, so it's just sad. Real, yeah, it, it is. And, you know, because uh, yeah. the whole time we we watched some some things about it, and I just recall uh, myself saying several times, "Man, I just feel so sorry for her," um, because. Man, that's a whole nother subject. We can get into that. But the whole yeah, thing about I'm a believer, you know, and um, but I can decipher somebody that, that has faith and that is uh, on, exercising, that, exercising that faith to get you through a situation mm -hmm. from somebody that's just been through so much that it's just they kind of using that as a you know, kind of as, as a more so a cover up to and kind of masking um, how they exactly. really feel on the inside. You know, it's like, you know, you don't really want to deal with reality. You know, so you throw some scripture out there when, when anybody that really has any really real discernment can see that it's really uh, you're using that. It's as not a, authentic. Yeah, it, it's just you know you throw you throwing some stuff out there. 
So I, th- I think that is, you know, what I observed. And right. to me, that was sad because I'm like, it, it almost made me think, I, I started to question, I was like, was this a freaking arranged marriage? Because here's the thing, Here, here's what I will say. I think sometimes when, when, uh, when people have low self-esteem, Sometimes some people will, will will marry a person like that because they know I can get away with all kinds of stuff. Because that person is gonna feel like, regardless of what you do, I'm gonna be, they feel like this person is gonna be here. Yeah. You know, I, I started to kind of get those kind of vibes from the situation because I'm like, yeah. they seem so, I know they say opposites attract, but usually there's still a, <laughs> on some level, there is a, um, there's a there's there's a there's an equilibrium on some level, whether it be the visual or the the intellectual. There's an there's an equilibrium somewhere, and it seems like with the two of them, there's no equilibrium. There's not visually or from a mental stability standpoint. Yeah. No, you know, there's no connection. Right. You know? But and so it's I, like I, we think, you know, because here's another thing that people don't understand, like. You don't, this man is, he's been doing this so long that I'm sure there are two sides of him, right? Right. And so we don't know, you know, he might be a Bible thumper as well. He might, that might be how, you know, but it's just not his Facebook personality. You know, we don't, we Mm -hmm. don't know him. But when I look at them, when I first saw them together, I thought that, you know, I was like, okay, now how did this happen? you know, (laughs) but it's strange to me. However, um, I don't know. I just, I'm praying for her and, and, you know, they can fix their marriage and he's going to straighten up and fly. Right. Great. But I want women because that's none of my business. Right. Right. I want women to know and understand that, you know, stop getting caught up in these what are they? What do we even call these guys who have all this wonderful, great advice to give women um, as to how to get a man, how to keep a man, how to be a woman? Men cannot teach us this. And the women, wh- where we can get this information, we don't respect each other enough to receive the information from the appropriate parties. You know what I'm saying? There yeah. are some things that men can definitely help us with, right? Many right. things. But for the most part, no. You get that stuff from other women because I feel like that it, I just receive the information better when it's coming from other women. When I think about it, whenever I've had a serious breakup in my life or some somebody broke my heart or something horrible happened in my life or not, it was never a man that nursed me through that. It was never yeah. a man that helped me through that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was yeah. always a woman who felt my pain, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. stop hanging on to these. I don't want to call names here. Well, Any... you know, well, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. Um, everybody's different in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Whether it's yeah. everybody's different. Everybody. There's something about everybody, even if there's somebody that you look very closely very closely, you know, you closely resemble somebody or you have a, a personality that's very similar to somebody, everybody's different, right? But there are certain things that are almost universal, right? I think there are certain characteristics in men and women that are almost universal, meaning oh, most yeah. women, <laughs> you know, are, are made up this way. And I think one of the things that most women, this is a characteristic of characteristic of most women see Pete Derrick Jackson understood that most women want to hear what they want to hear absolutely they want, want to hear, to hear exactly that, listen the right answer he know, the right, he knows yeah. what they what to say when you tell a woman's a queen men should treat you this way you don't have to put up with this that's kind of universal stuff and he it took is. that and he ran with it 
Yeah, that's right? exactly what I was going to say. I never yeah. heard him in the few times I saw him. I never heard him speak anything that wasn't just pure common sense. You know, if a man is dragging you on for 20 years and he won't marry you, he doesn't, you you're not the on. one. <laughs> Duh. Right. <laughs> Duh. You know, I never heard him say anything that was not just plain common sense. But, right. But yeah. but again, but because it was what most women wanted to hear. It was that, gospel. That, that, you know, that um that reality, you know, which is very easy to see. They they didn't pay attention to that. Yeah. You know, people will people love for you to make them feel good. Absolutely. I think that's that's one thing I will cop to. I will say that we are oftentimes guilty of that. We want to hear what we want to hear. Right. And damn it, when we hear it, you better make nice. Right. Right. And it doesn't it doesn't always help us, you know, because sometimes you need to hear some cold, hard truth, you know, and but we like we like to hear what we like to hear. We like for guys that to us nice and you know I can't stand your friend you know that um but I think that the and the reason that most women can't <laughs> you laugh at me <laughs> is because Eva, hold on, Eva, why you don't like why you don't like my friend <laughs> it's personal with me I've told you this story before I ain't gonna tell you again I told you he came for me mm -hmm. and I didn't appreciate it and that's the only reason why I don't rock with him um, you know, and his delivery is, it stinks sometimes, but sometimes some things that he says, you know, he, he touches on some very, you know, important yeah. subjects, some things, he says some things that we need to hear, but like I said, I don't rock with him because it's personal with us, but, um, Yeah. So you, like you, think, you think his message is, 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 you think the message is good, but the messenger is what you have the issue with? I think parts of the message. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I got you. Parts of the message. I'm not going to sit here and say all the message, you know. Um, right. Because, again, he's another person that I really don't put a lot of time, you know, I spend a lot of time listening to that because He's not talking to me, you know. I I got mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> I did something right, you know. Right. <laughs> so right. I don't spend a lot of time. I don't watch things that don't, you know, make me smarter, better. You know right. what I'm saying? So it doesn't speak to you. It doesn't speak to me at right. all. So I don't I don't put a lot of my I don't invest a lot of energy into stuff like that. You know, because then right. I don't do nothing but get upset because now I'm fighting for other women. I'm fighting for the other sisters. And I'm like, hey, you don't, you know, and then it all yeah. goes left. But <laughs> yeah, I don't spend a lot of time listening to him. Um, but Somebody said who? Uh, Cindy 504 said who? We're talking about, right now we're talking about Kevin Samuel. Yeah. Um, and his message on uh, the whole thing about high value guys and uh, the whole nine. I mean, I think you know. We we can we can address you know that whole idea at another later. Time, but I have I wanted to talk about something that I thought would would kind of tie into this situation that we kind of touched on the last time that we talked, and that is the S word. Do you know what the S word is? Uh, I can think of a few, but I'm not sure. Well, not. <laughs> I'm sure it's not the first one that popped in your mind. Right. Well, what's mission? <laughs> Let's, let's deal with that. Submission. Let's talk about submission. And let's talk about, because, you know, it's a word that we run from, right? Like women, especially us, you know, sisters, we're like submission. Why? Why do you run from it? Well, because honestly, I think that, um, I think a lot of women don't understand exactly what it is. You know, that, yeah, I could see that. Um, I think a lot of women think that it's like, you know, yes, sir, no, sir, what I right. gotta do, 
what, whatever, like you said, whatever, whatever you like. like. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, right. a lot of women think that that's what it is. And I don't know about in your house, but in my house, that's, that's absolutely not, you know, what that means, you know? Right. So I, I wanted to talk about that and, and how important is submission and, because I think a lot of women um, would put it in the same category as being weak, right? Mm. I, I think that's where the problem is. Yeah. I think I think you hit on the hit it on the head as regards to uh, in regards to what the problem actually is, and I think it's a pro, it's a problem with understanding exactly what it is. Um, you know, we're in an, we live in an era now where you know, shout out to Beyonce, uh, where, <laughs> you know, when the song Independent Women came out, I think women kind of went, women took that song and ran with it. Yeah. Um, but but submission, I, I think, you know, again, is not, the problem is that people don't understand, I guess, what the definition of submission really is. And I think that's where we, where we probably run into the biggest problem because most women, I think most women nowadays, because of the whole independent movement, believe that that um, submission makes them weak, right? But yeah. submission is when you when you're equally yoked, submission is purpose. It's part of purpose. You know, so right. that's where the problem is. You know, so from your from your perspective as a woman, what is submission? Can we define that? And we'll talk about what it is in my house. <laughs> <laughs> what is um, it? You know, it, it is just allowing, or well, I don't even know if allowing is the right word, but just always making sure that he knows and feels that he is the man of the house, you know, that, and, and just, you know, making sure that he feels respected, making sure that he feels appreciated making sure that, you know, his needs are met, right? And and that's basically, you know, it I in think a you got, that's it. That's <laughs> not, it doesn't mean groveling. It doesn't mean, right. you know, when he comes through the door, like, oh, right, said, right. Oh, oh. you know, that's, that's basically what it is. Right. You know? And it doesn't mean, I think a lot of, some women get it twisted. It doesn't mean that they don't have, you can't have an opinion. And that doesn't oh. mean that a man is always right or anything like that. But I think that's what the perception is. And yeah. for most people, of course, we understand perception is reality. Right. So I, I think it would, you know, and I don't know, you know, uh, but, but a lot of people could benefit from really understanding what it is. But I think you did a good job of summarizing um, what submission is, at least more so in the modern day what submission is and what it means. Right. I think, again, you hit on some very uh, key points about what it is, yeah. you know, which also excludes what it is. Right. Yeah, it, it's very important. And I, I say this all the time, like men will pay a hefty price for submission. They will just, you guys, I, you know, it took, this took me a while. It took me a while to learn this because, you know, as you said, it doesn't mean you don't have a voice. And me, we both know I have a voice in my house, right? A, a loud one at that. But right. <laughs> <laughs> um, that one was hard for me to understand that because I have a very strong personality, you know, and I'm not huge on Zodiac signs, but I am a Leo and I, I oftentimes behave like one, you know? Right. <laughs> and so that was hard for me just because I've always wanted to, I've always been the boss, you know, been in charge. Like, right. so it was always like, you know, and, and my husband is not the type of person to um, verbalize when he didn't feel respected or appreciated like immediately you know he let it build up and build up and then there would come a moment where he would say um you don't respect me right and right. I'm like what because you know that's big for y'all like yeah you talk to a man and you know he's divorcing his wife or whatever 
and you ask him, well, why are you divorcing your wife? He's probably going to be like, well, she doesn't respect me. You know, if you ask a woman, why are you divorcing your husband? She's probably going to say, what? He doesn't love me, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> he doesn't love me. So yeah, respect, that's, it's huge to men. And so I had it's, to learn how to just, you know, you know, it's I had paramount. To, yeah. So that, that submission thing was big to me, but I saw how, you know, how it plays out in my favor big time, you know, <laughs> like yeah. my husband, he, he wants to be respected, appreciated. He wants to have his needs met mm -hmm. and, you know, and of course, it is not a one way street, you know, right? Because, of course, you know, I need to have my needs met as well, and I need to be respected and appreciated as well, right. you know. But absolutely, yeah, I mean, and, and pretty much in a different way, but yeah, that one, who that one was hard for me when I learned that when I got that, I was like, okay, this is not this is not so hard, you know. Just yeah. give up the fight, girl, because you just fight every step <laughs> of the way, you know, and you're making things hard on yourself. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and no need for that. <laughs> oh, right. You yeah, know, no need for that. Well, he feels appreciated and respected and, you know, he's taken care of. The, the, there's, I don't have anything to worry about in, in life, period. Right. You know, he'll make sure I'm happy because, you know, that's he wants to do his part, you know, in that. And yeah, absolutely. So I think it's it's a misunderstood word, right? Absolutely. Submission is. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you should absolutely. do uh maybe you should do a class on it. Uh you know, break down what it is and uh, and what it means because I think whatever you like. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very very important. And 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 you're not, you know, again, it's not abusive. It's not, you know, it's, it's none of that. It's not disrespect. It doesn't mean that because, you know, I submit that you may go out and submit to someone else. It, do, it doesn't mean any of that. Um, let's read some comments because I'm sure they're very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Denise Dixon says submission to means bowing, bowing down. Is that my slave mentality? My personality is headstrong. I treat you the same way I'm treated. I know it's a give and take. Yeah, see, yeah. I, and, then, and then you know what? Um, it, it's not bowing down. That's 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 the spin a lot of women likes to put on it and mm -hmm. absolutely you know i i don't know i just what you I'm, saying? Gonna to, I'm gonna have to do a, a major breakdown on that one day because well on the respect not, piece yeah um yeah i treat you the same way i'm treated is give and take you know absolutely both individuals in the relationship in the marriage are required to treat each other with respect you know and and love and kindness and all of the above so um doggett too says if i don't respect the man as a person there's there's no submission of my will you cannot submit to some let, fellas let me let me explain this in the comment <laughs> section or for anybody who's like you know yeah i need my woman to submit to me you cannot submit to a man you do not respect for whatever reason that you do not respect this man. That's true. And that means that if he's not doing his part in the relationship as a man, it's going to be hard as hell to submit to him. There's That's no, true. there's almost no way that can happen. Right. This is really hard. Not really going to happen. You know, that's that 50, 50 stuff. If I'm paying half the bills, how can I, Come home, talk about whatever you like. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Oh, um, yeah. So I think there's two major, two major points that have been been uh, extracted. Um, understanding what it is, number one, and number two, uh, 
you know, having somebody that think that, you know, quote unquote, kind of qualifies for to uh, be submitted to uh, two different things. But I think both very important, right. equally important, actually. And Picking Penny says the word submission, uh, this is a straight trigger for those of us who grew up in domestically violent homes. Um. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a straight trigger. I grew up in a domestically violent home, you know. Mm -hmm. And again, that's not that's that's abuse is nowhere in in there. Submission has nothing to do with abuse, right? And it, you know, absolutely not. Well, you know, I think submission too. I think to some extent, it's a when you think about the fact of needing it uh, to have to be defined, I think it's so much um, a product as well of learned behavior. Um, and I think, you know, just being honest, I think we have a lot of folks that grow up in single parent households and they don't, you don't see, they don't see it. You know, right. they don't see it. So it's hard for them to define it when they get into a, a marriage. You know, if you grew up in a yeah. household where you, you know, you grew up in a single parent household and it was just mom, you know, or whatever the case may be, that's not something that you learned. Right. Exactly. Right. You know, exactly. so you don't really you didn't see that. So most people learn by doing or by seeing something, you know, just not being told what it is. So with that being the case, a lot of times I think a lot of people, the, the struggle to understand or define it. Uh, come from oftentimes what people see when they grow up. Right. Or, you know, for what they don't see for that matter. Um, so again, I think there's a there's a big, there's a gap there and there's an opportunity there for uh, for people to really uh, have someone that really, you know, give a little bit more clarity on what exactly it is and what it means. Right. Uh, exactly. I, think that will, I think that will help out a lot when, as it relates to just submission. Um, right. to understand yeah. exactly what it is. Um, Anisha says submission, marriage, high value, equally yoked are all misunderstood terms. I, I could not agree more. And I, I agree. E equally yeah. yoked, that is like, I'm so sick and tired of hearing that. Um, so, because whenever <laughs> it's used, it's used in an inappropriate way. Like, I don't think most people even understand. That's a whole nother video on a whole nother night. Like you, most you people- You referred to what, equally yoked? Yes, most yeah. people don't understand that. Like you, people throw that around all the time. Well, child, I make $60,000 and he's only making 12. We not equally yoked. That, it has nothing <laughs> to do with that. <laughs> I'm from the hood, he from the suburbs. We ain't equally yoked, you know? I, I hate hearing it. Every time I hear the word, I just roll my eyes when I hear that. I'm like, mm. well, if he makes if he makes twelve, uh, what what part time job is that? You think? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What part time I, job is that? <laughs> I came up with some, you know. Um, <laughs> and DS said, "No respect, no submission." Yeah, no, no respect. Definitely no submission. Um, Cindy 504, you need to know what a healthy relationship looks like to understand respect and submission. It is something that's earned, not just something you get for being male. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, that hits on the point that you were referring to. Um, yeah, you, you have to, you definitely have to earn that. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, you know, most people just, most women uh, just look to be, uh, to feel a sense of security um, and, and know that a guy is, a man is out there doing the best he can to provide. I think that's what allows them to, uh, to submit. Right. Yeah. Like you, like you were mentioning earlier. So, um, you know, if, if those things are in place, and I think it makes it a lot easier for a woman to kind of fall in place or fall in line with the whole submission piece. You know, if a man's yeah. really, you know, at least making a really conscious effort to make sure that he is providing uh, for her or family, whatever the case may be. Um, Product Junkie says, I don't agree. I think mentality wise, it could fall into the unequally 
yoked category. Yeah, mentality wise, I, I could I could agree with that. But I was just using some examples of how people just throw equally yoked around like, you know, so often when they're not even really I think a lot of people that say that are not even familiar with what you know it what the bible is actually speaking of you know right yeah so yeah so which which again fall into the category of not really understanding the definition of or what something really means which is a huge problem (laughs) in so many different areas but you know, certainly it relates to these type of things, not really understand, having an understanding of what something is and just kind of, you know, frivolously throwing around a term. Yeah. Um, it is a major problem, major issue. I'm about to go here. Let me ask you this. Okay. Ashley, right? Mm-hmm. Are you and Ashley equal in the marriage? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. I would say so. Yeah, but because equal to me is what you lack, the other person makes it up. That's equally yoked to me. Where I'm, not, I'm lacking, I'm, where I'm lacking, you feel that deficiency. Okay. Right? Now, I'm speaking on like kind of on a different like where women say we're all equal like men and women are equal like I'm his equal you know so are men and women are we equal is that well I mean (laughs) are we equal in the marriage are we equal if we're equal, that means we got we got the same. We're the same, you know. We're we're like Ashley is your equal, you know. When the refrigerator breaks down, either you can fix it or Ashley fix it. <laughs> well, I think equal when the for- bills are due, either you stressing about it or you and Ashley stress about it together. You you gonna pay them or Ashley gonna pay them? You know. I think well, for number one, I think. Uh- Men, men, men are supposed to be the leaders, right? Men are supposed to lead, right? Men are supposed to lead, mm-hmm. right? The women are supposed to, and that's why the whole term submission, you know, women are supposed to fall under your mission, right? So to an extent, there's, there should be uh, equal meaning that we're given a certain amount of respect. You give us a certain amount of respect, just like we were talking a few minutes ago about, you know, somebody said, uh, there's a, to an extent men submit as well, right? Absolutely. Right? The men submit as well. So to an extent we're equal, but at the same time, men are still supposed to be the leaders. Right? right. Men are yeah. still supposed to be the leaders. So women are supposed to be able to fall under the, the submission of the man's mission. So to an extent, we can't be necessarily equal in that regard. But equal from the standpoint of giving a certain amount of respect, you know, in the in the relationship, in the right. confines of the role that you're supposed to play in that relationship. So I think again, from that, those kind of two different things, um, you know, two different subjects per se. But ultimately, from the standpoint of you want to talk about being equal, I think men are the leaders. So there's a certain level of responsibility. That, re- that falls on the man to be the head, to be the leader. Yeah. So yeah. From that standpoint, we can't be equal because we can't have two leaders. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Thank you. You finally get to the, the, right. the meat and potatoes of it. That's what I'm saying. I right. I feel like I hear women say this all the time. We're equal. We're equal. We're I, I don't want to be my husband's equal. No. <laughs> no. I don't want to be. Did- you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, not at all. So yeah, there you go. You cannot have two leaders. That's where the problem comes in at, right? Right. That's what it, that's where the problem comes in. Yeah. That's, that's definitely where the problem, where the comes, problem in. comes in. As a man, you have to have a good enough track record. You know, since we've kind of brought this up, we'll, we'll go here for momentarily. As a man, you have to have the good enough track record as a leader. Well, somebody just said that in the comment section. Someone said, 
I will happily skip behind him if I trust he is not leading us over a cliff. <laughs> exactly. So when, when we said this, what we're talking about, when you when we look at the story a lot, right? Right. His wife turned to a pillar of salt because she didn't trust his decision making. She looked back because she didn't trust his decision making. So as a leader, as a man, as a leader, you have to have credibility from the standpoint, if I come home and tell my wife, we got to go to California right now. We got to pack up everything and move. She trusts. She's supposed to get in the car. That, that I'm in position that I've heard clearly that that's where we need to go. Right. Not really having to understand the reason why, but that my track record is good enough to understand that this is the right move that we're making. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. 100%. So you can't have two people from the standpoint of being equal that are leaders from that standpoint, it's incumbent yeah. upon the man to be that leader. Right. So right. from that standpoint, we're not equal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> AI the Great says, my man submits to me. He's the boss outside of the home. So when he comes home, that's where I'm the boss and he loves it and he wouldn't have it any other way, but I totally respect him. And it's all about how things <laughs> work in your house you know yeah that's yeah it's all about how what what makes you comfortable inside of your marriage you know right yeah equal uh, mighty strong says equal as in like-minded or agreement but knowing when to submit to his authority I like that. That's, that's yeah, I, I do too. I like that. If he follows God, I will follow him with no problem. There you go. And then she put but at the end. I don't, <laughs> what's the but, Topaz? <laughs> Product junkie, I'm about to shout up in this Friday night revival. <laughs> Who said that? Yeah. Um, Product junkie. Oh, yeah. Seven. I just populated <laughs> I saw it. It just came through. So yeah. So this week, um, is this the last week in March? Or yeah, absolutely yeah, it, it is. is. But I guess yeah. all the the drama took place last week with you know cheating. So to sum it all up, before we get off here, because mm -hmm. I'm not in my usual comfortable environment. Yeah. What, what time is it where you are anyway? It is actually nine thirty where I am. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're ten thirty where you are. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what we came up with, most men will probably cheat, right? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, though? And, and here's another thing like that we didn't talk about how many different ways cheating can go, because cheating can be emotional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And which right. is much more dangerous than you know the the physical act of it um it, right. it can go in so many different directions you know what is it called um when you're tech sexting you know <laughs> all that type of stuff happens like social media is so crazy these days like people yeah, have whole the, relationships it's the devil just on like electronic devices you know it's the devil it is. It's, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. An absolute mess. Um, yeah. But at the end of the day, with that entire DJ situation, I just say, I'm, I feel for his wife, you know? Yeah. And I hope that she gets her mental straight and, and stay off of social media because social media will, man, there are some bullies, you know, uh, grown women, Grown listen, women. Listen, the first thing, this is like PR 101, okay? If you're going through something and you have some type, any type of notoriety, well, you don't even have to have notoriety. If you're going through something, that's the number one thing that you need to do. You need to take Facebook off your phone, your device. Remove yourself Instagram, from social media. Get yourself off because that's not going to do you any good. Not any good. 
you know what I said everybody needs to do because it always comes out like when people start feeling like you're important and you know they want to dig up some dirt on you do like me expose yourself <laughs> hey and look that's what Eminem did in the um Eminem did that in uh what's the name of that movie eight mile eight mile yeah remember the it's end of that that, that that yeah that end of that movie uh, when he had the last rap battle, he said every negative thing he could that could have been said about him, he said it himself. So when it was time for my man to respond, he had nothing to say. He didn't have anything he to say. He already said it all. Say. Yeah. Somebody come on here and tell the people something. They're going to be, oh, she, she talked about that in her I Was Broken video. We know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Expose yourself at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey i'm telling you that it won't yeah. be nothing for the people to say all right well thank you so much for joining me tonight this was fun next time i will be back in my comfortable environment my utensils or my utensils my electronics will be working yes properly um yeah so thank you guys so much for joining us thank tonight. you guys we appreciate you Absolutely. Have fun as always. And we will see you in two weeks. Two, two weeks, weeks from tonight. Yes. We'll be back in two weeks. All right. This is my last night. Um, well, actually, it's not. Well, it's kind of my last night alone because um, when I leave here tomorrow, I'm going to go stay with my son. So, okay. Um, who I didn't see in the comments. I don't know what happened to him. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go stay with my son. So tonight I'm going to go out and have a little, you know, fun. <laughs> Safe. Hang out with the fam. We'll do. Always All right. Good, good night. Yeah, we'll Everyone. see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Ooh. I might, my.